In this example, we're asked to rank the magnetic field from each of these four configurations if we're evaluating the magnetic field at the center of the four wires. In each picture, four wires are coming into or out of the page with current going into the page being denoted by an X, like the back end of an arrow, and current coming out of the page being denoted by a small circle with a dot at the center, like the tip of an arrow. In case A, we may imagine the four currents coming out of the page, and we may draw the circular magnetic fields around each of these four, four currents as moving counterclockwise. When we look specifically at how these four current, the four magnetic fields add to one another at the center of the four wires, we notice that the upper right hand wire has a magnetic field that's pointing down and to the right. The lower left hand wire has a field that's pointing up and to the left and these two cancel one another. By the same token, the upper left wire and the lower right wire have magnetic fields that also cancel one another. And so the magnetic field at the center of case A is zero. Likewise, case B also has a magnetic field at the center, which is zero, because the upper right and lower left wires have magnetic fields that cancel, and the upper left and lower right wires have magnetic fields that cancel. In case C, the magnetic field has a net value or net component that points exactly to the left, and that's because the vertical components cancel. If we examine the, the four individual fields from the four individual wires, we notice that the upper two wires cancel each other's vertical component, and the lower two wires cancel each other's vertical component. But in all cases, those four arrows point somewhat to the left. In case D, the magnetic field points up and to the right at 45 degrees. And that's because the upper right wire and the lower left wire cancel each other's field, whereas the upper left and lower right wires both add together in the same direction at 45 degrees. Both C and D have an equal magnitude of magnetic field equal to twice the magnetic field from one wire alone. It's just that in C it points straight to the left and in D it points up and to the right. A and B have a net magnetic field tied at zero.